up 20, I mean, even though that's, you know, without AD, that's a different team. But when they have LeBron and you're up 23 early in the fourth, do you know that you're going to get that, the run that pretty much every NBA team tries to make in a scenario like that? Were you guys expecting that much of a run from them? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's still time on the clock. Uh, I would expect any team to, uh, you know, at least make a push. Uh, but, you know, we held the fort. Um, and the team did a great game. play 41 minutes? See that? See that, man? You almost, you almost got me fine for cursing. See? Bam. It, it. <laughs> And uh, two of Jimmy's three triple doubles this season have come in the past week with Kyle out. Is that just is that a coincidence or does his role kind of change and call for him to do obviously a little more facilitating and, and everything else, you know, when Kyle's not in there? Uh, his role definitely does change. Um, you know, he has to be a complete player when uh, when Kyle goes out. He has to uh, get players involved. He has to rebound. He has to score. So, uh, yeah. And he does all the little things in between. I just want y'all to know his field goal percentage though. Like uh, seven for 18 is my birthday. And you know, I just want y'all to know that. I do media all the time. I'm expecting some gifts every once in a while. You have no idea what we earn. <laughs> Bam, um, Spo was just in here saying, look, if we can build these kind of leads and we get in those situations and we can manage the fourth quarters and then we still get out with a win, we'll take it. My question to you is, you had this in Atlanta also where you you, you were able to work your way back. Do you think even a loss like that, you know, and, and holding off Portland on Wednesday will help you in the moments of truth, playoff, playoff race, things like that, to get in these situations and to learn how to manage them? Uh, winning any game, you know, by four, by two, by six, um, and you were up 21 in the beginning of like the third quarter. Um, you know, that's just nothing but teaching us lessons on how to win. Um, you know, then we get in those games where it is a three, four point game, you know, throughout the whole game. And we've been in those positions already. We hear so often about the term closers. But it seems like you guys, anyone could be a closer. That Gabe has had his moments. Tonight it was Caleb at the end with the steal and the score. Duncan, fourth quarter, is in there, a team high nine points in the fourth quarter. How nice is it to have that diversity of closers that you can look in so many directions? Uh, man, it just shows we're, we're just a team that trusts each other. Um, we trust another guy's ability. You know, it's a, it's a luxury to have that many guys that can be a closer for you. And, uh, you know, defense or offense, um, you know, I feel like that's what makes our team so dynamic. There were some questions, I guess, on the outside about how the offense would change when you got back from the absence and stuff. Was that something that maybe you thought about on your way back to the team? And, and do you think anything really has changed? Uh, no, I don't think nothing has changed, uh, in my opinion. Um, you know, we're so unselfish that, you know, we want guys to go out and play. We want guys to have fun. We want guys to score. So uh, <clears throat> I don't think it's changed because, I mean, Look like it changed to you. Boom, there it is. So, uh, you know, it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, Bam, thank you. Black Lives Matter, people. Ah. But now, you know, 718.